In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix several booting errors that can happen when you're trying to boot your SSD drive. <clears throat> I'll point out each error with a light bulb. On this one right here, it says Windows cannot boot because it couldn't load the proper DLLs. This is a blue screen. And this next one right here, it says Windows cannot start because the following file is missing or corrupt. I get a blue screen booting up and this happens to me sometimes after I installed my solid state hard drive so I'm kinda used to it so what I'm gonna do is use this CD and I'm gonna show you how to fix it let me pop in the CD I'll run a few commands and I'm gonna fix the, the boot record so I think it's fix MBR, master boot record, and fix boot. Those are the two commands I need to run. Just so I can boot back into my OS. And since I do have a solid state hard drive, and since they're not a perfected technology, I I actually image my drive often so I don't lose anything important. Now I am running XP and I did align my partition to be used with the solid state hard drive. Um, I found information online how to do it. Apparently it's not a problem with Vista and Windows 7, but I actually prefer Windows XP. It's a, it's a lot faster and I don't really need all the bells and whistles of Windows 7 or Vista. Okay, so what we want to do is enter the repair console so I press R I got two hard drives um, SSD and a normal hard drive so I have to figure out which hard drive it is that I want to uh, work on Okay. Now, if I type in help, let's see, okay, fix boot and fix MBR. We're going to run both of those commands. Okay, so fix boot. The target partition is drive C. Are you sure you want to write a new boot sector to the drive C? Yes, yeah, so I just type in Y. So the new boot sector was successfully written. Now we want to do fix MBR. Okay, we damage the partition tables if you proceed. Blah, blah. Okay, and I do want to proceed. Okay, that's my cat again. So I'm now I type an exit, and actually, what I'm going to do right now is press the reset button on my computer. Okay, once you run those commands, your computer will boot up normally, hopefully. Now, this happened to me several times, um, at least five times. Um, it happened more often before I aligned my partition um, on, on my SSD drive. After I aligned it, it happened about once. I got that I could not find a DLL error message. So, hope that helps you out. Take care. If you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll make more of them.